Welcome back. You're watching Mirror Now and the Prime Minister of the country is currently holding a meeting with Chief Ministers ahead of the mega vaccine rollout which is scheduled for 16th of January. Now, on the agenda of this meeting is some of the concerns that states have regarding the rollout, regarding co-vaccine. Um, also, if how to report adverse effects, if any, they're also going to discuss logistical issues, especially in remote areas, in insurgency hate areas, the online portal system for registration. Remember, that's called COVID, uh, all the registration, especially in the first phase of healthcare workers and frontline workers is going to be happening on that particular application. And there are concerns, of course, of rumor mongering, resistance and fears over inoculation as well. That is going to come up for discussion on how to tackle those issues. Okay, we're going to bring you all the updates of that meeting as the visuals on your screen that you can see Home Minister Amit Shah as well, part of that meeting. The Prime Minister, of course, is there. Uh, we are expecting the Prime Minister to speak and address that meeting a short while from now. Uh, but on the agenda, as I was saying, states have some concerns regarding the vaccine rollout. But in the first phase, uh, they're looking at 16 lakh vaccinations in one day with 30 crore Indians who will be uh, inoculated in the next five to six months. Over so 3 lakh officials have been trained in the administration and um, 2,400 participants have trained on a national level. So you can just imagine the scale and the magnitude of this particular rollout program. Now, I'm sure a lot of you have um, questions regarding this rollout program and how it works. Now, a crucial part of this is going to be the COVID app. Avni is going to explain to us what that app is and how it works. Well, that's right, Aarti. A lot of questions as far as the COVID app itself is concerned. Uh, so let's start with answering some of the questions uh, that we know at this point in time. Uh, first off, what is the COVID app? That is uh, the big question at this point in time. Essentially, it is COVID-19 Vaccine Intellig Intelligence Network app. And uh, it's essentially a digital platform to, to monitor the entire vaccination drive. Uh, that is really what the point and the purpose of the COVID app is uh, that, that uh, the, the government has uh, put forth. The second question is, what is the status of the COVID app? And this is important because the COVID app has not yet been launched. Uh, it will be available for the general public soon. So this is also an important point uh, for our viewers to ensure that, uh, you know, people don't download any other copycat apps uh, uh, posing as a COVID app on any platform because those are not the uh, official app that has been launched by the government. That will be announced and that will be told as to when you can actually go ahead and uh, download that particular app. Uh, the other question here is uh, who will get the shots, the vaccine shots in the first phase? Now, of course, uh, like you were also pointing out, healthcare workers, frontline workers, prioritized age groups, all of those uh, are the, the segments which will be getting the vaccines uh, in the first phase of the vaccine rollout. Uh, the other question, of course, is who needs to register on the COVID app? Now, this is also important because initial, the people in the first phase of the COVID app uh, I beg your pardon of the vaccination drive uh, will not need to register. The frontline healthcare workers, uh, their information is already going to be uploaded directly by the government. But uh, our post that everybody else uh, will have to register on the COVID app. Uh, that